Hi hey there, so welcome to these lectures where we're going to talk about implementing your boundary conditions using cold strain. So OpenFun includes the, this capability now to load and execute uh, C++ code at runtime. Okay, so we have done that previously in block mesh when using block mesh and we parameterize, but also we can do it with all dictionaries not using this directive called call string. Okay, so this directive is going to read the code where you implement your actual boundary condition plus on other options to load uh, libraries and include files. Okay, so everything is compiled dynamically. So the minute, the second that you launch your solver, it will compile it and then you will have available that boundary condition on the fly while running. Okay. So basically, uh, you can take the, when talking in particular now of boundary condition, I want to point out that co call the string, you can use it in any dictionary, okay? In, in any uh, input file that you have in OpenFun, okay? But here after we're going to talk about boundary conditions. So look at that, you can take this template, okay? So see that you, you, you apply this in a patch name, you choose your patch name, and then you put this template, okay? So in this case, let's say that I want to use a fixed value, and then in the value here, that usually you put one or one, 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 if it is a vector, you put this directive code string, and then here, this is a template, okay? So see that you are using traditional libraries, okay? You call this one that very important, okay? The location of the source code, Okay, so this is the standard and the libraries that you're going to use. So these are the standard libraries. It might happen that you're going to need something a way much advanced, so you will need to add the new headers. But I have to say that this is a standard, or most of the cases this isn't going to work. And then here you have this block, and here is where you're going to implement your boundary condition. Okay, so there are some specific guidelines that you need to follow that we're going to see now, using this case as an example. So see that we have here the, this classical case now the <clears throat> the pipe okay the mix with two inlets and what we're going to do is that in this inlet here we're going to implement a parabolic inlet profile and in particular this parabolic inlet profile is not implemented in open phone okay and you can put here whatever is any solo that they are not implemented you have just the uniform fixed value so let's implement this one in the easiest way okay so here you have mentioned something that remember that you compute your quantities in the cell centers but also you have the nodes so all this information can be accessed Okay, when programming, we're going to see how to do that. And also it's important now when doing that, this implementing this wonder condition here or any other patch, you need to know, know the bounds, okay, of that surface, okay? But again, that information can be obtained from the solver. So this is the equation that we want to, to implement, okay? So we're going to implement it like this in cell centers and we're going to have this this behavior at the inlet okay so basically what we do is that you pick first you need to pick up your patch so let's say that in this case your patch or your surface boundary is velocity inlet five okay you implement here and see that this is your here your template and here is where we're going to implement the actual boundary conditions so the actual boundary condition goes like this and again this is a template okay all these lines here are a template okay so see that you here you are accessing this dictionary, okay? You just leave it like this. It's standard also like this. It's standard, but here be careful that you need to give the name of the patch where you are using this boundary condition. So it needs to be intuitively the same as this one. And here be careful that we're working with a vector field. So see that vector field, you initialize now this one zero zero zero. And now it comes this where we simply here implement our boundary condition. So here we declare some constant variables, okay, like P constants and maximum velocity, whatever. Okay, so some information to implement your boundary condition. I see that we implement now this loop. Okay, so this is these are the loops in open front, okay. So basically we're looping here in all cell phases. Okay. So this is the counter and we're taking all cell phases and see that const scalar y and this is how you access phase center, okay? Patch.cf, okay? So this is how you access the phase center. So you're going to have a little bit more information in the supplement explaining this one, okay? Because there are different functions to access. 
face center, cell center, and so on. Okay, so this is in particular one. Most of the time you are going to use it like this for surface boundary condition or surface patches. Okay, then you have the counter like this. So here, see that you are looping here in this number, in the number of faces that you have there. And now see that here you access the second one will give you the index, the coordinates, X, Y, and Z. So in my case, look at that. I am interested in this direction. So put it there one, and then you're going just to move this index and you're going to assign this boundary condition. Okay, so this is here is just, this is pure C++ programming here. This is a class belonging to OpenFun, so it's a vector. So remember, if you have vectors, scalars, you are going to, to, need to use different classes, but see that you have component X, Y, and Z. In particular, we're implemented in component X, see here. Component X, and you're moving in this direction, okay? The the counter. And see that you have it as this, okay? Super simple to implement this one. And this last entry is just to directly read in the dictionary, to, to directly write in the dictionary this, okay? So pretty much everything is a template except for this part that is your specific implementation, okay? If you don't have any constant, don't put constants and this part will be for your let's say velocity or pressure or whatever okay so you put it here remember this is a vector you use vector you can have a scalar as well so this case you have it located here so let's see this this case in action so we run it in the standard way nothing new the only thing that when you run you will see that this boundary condition is going to be compiled on the fly and then when you post process we're going to get this 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 results okay here your parabolic profile and that's all and you can compare here something interesting that as an exercise later you can do and implement something a parabolic profile also here okay so it will be pretty much the same but remember that you need to change you know, your coordinates but and the equation but that's all okay pretty much the same uh talking about the scalars now that we implemented for a vector field is you do it for a scalar you proceed in the same way so see that here you have your template, so you declare your scalar field, okay, initialize the value for all, okay, this is the ins, the loop in open phone, and then cons scalar here and see that scalar and you put your value, okay, so you can implement it also in the same way. So let's see this case in action, okay, so we have it here. So as you go into your folder, you have 101 programming and then you have different folders here. So we're going to focus just on these two. These are here for advanced stuff. So code string and in particular, we're interested in 2D elbow, this one, okay? So this is the one that we want to use. Okay, so you enter there and, and see that it's pretty much the same, nothing changed. The only difference that you go into you, open this, and see here that you have your implementation. Okay, so see that you select the patch, and here we have basically the code, the template that I mentioned, and you just need to adapt this to whatever you want to use. Okay, so here you have different implementation, different things that we were playing around, which by the way here, probably you, you will get confused for this for all in open phone. Okay, so this is like a contract notation for the for loop in C++. So this for all, it is equivalent to the traditional loop in open in, in C++ like that. You declare your, your index here, okay? And then you patch this number or, or this is the size of this loop and then use increase your index. Okay, so this is equivalent to that. Okay, so if you are confused about this, just you can put it like this, it's exactly the same. Okay, so see that also here, as you go below, see that you have in velocity in like two six, and the one, the small one, see that also here you have the implementation for that patch, okay, if you want to see. So see that here we just change the direction, okay? So see that we're now choosing this vector direction and see here X, Y, and Z. So it's pretty much the same, okay? So let's run this case. As usual, you have there the run solver script and see that this is the point where it's doing the, the dynamic compilation. It's something similar to what is done in block mesh when we use the calc direct, directive to parameterize that dictionary. So this, see that we're done here, okay? And just to point out something that here, you have when 
the, soul, the, 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 the Wonder Condition is dynamically compiled. You have there the source code, the library, whatever that is linked dynamically to this. So, okay, now that we have the solution, okay, and by the way, you see that we run in parallel, so this stuff also works in parallel with no problem. So let me go here, Paraform built in to open the case in parallel. The compose case. And let me look at this value and see here that you already can see here that you have that profile here, okay? So you press play. And off you go. So for instance, you can plot the parabolic profile just in this patch. Okay, you have it there. And now that let me plot vectors there in cell center. Okay, okay, scalar array, no scale. Okay, okay, yes, let me scale by this. And there you go. Okay, so this is your parabolic profile. So normally in OpenFone is uniform, the fixed value is uniform, but see that now we use the code string and you can implement it with no problem. So the exercise that I mentioned that you can do the same and you access this patch here and try and see that here clearly you see that non-uniform and uniform. Okay, so try to implement this one here. So you already have the solution there, which by the way, so you can go here in P and U and you have it already here in the bottom. Okay. So this the implementation for a vector is you want to do something similar in pressure, just go here. But remember that you need to have it as an scalar. You see here that you have the template as well. So you have declared this scalar, the name, which by the way, the name not necessarily needs to be the same as the variable that you are working, but for readability, probably is recommended not to have the same name. So this is all for this case, the first tutorial. Now we're going to see two more tutorials regarding to this one, and then we move to initial conditions. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.